Eric Car Guy here. If you have ever. <laughs> Let's start that over. A few of you have requested information on brakes, uh, in particular drum brakes. So today I'm going to give you a brief overview and then a full length, ver a full -length version of this video, uh, including the complete shoe replacement, uh, will be available from the Eric the Car Guy website sometime in the future. But for today we're just going to cover the basics. Uh, we have a pretty common car, we have a 2002 Chevy Cavalier, uh, there's a lot of these out there. But the overall principles of drum brake operations are pretty much the same uh, throughout several different types of manufacturers, with the exception of like, there's a couple of strange ones out there, I can think of Mazda as being one that's a little, little different, but for the most part this is a general overview of how drum brakes work. Part one is going to be the difficult task of getting the drum off of the hub. You got to hit it with a hammer and you got to make sure you don't hit the studs because if you hit the studs it'll be hard to get the wheel on and off if you don't break a stud. So. Aim true. Some manufacturers have little threaded holes uh, that you run bolts into that help you uh, get the drum off the hub itself. Use those when possible. It'll save you a lot of beating. Uh, this one does not have that, so I'm unable to demonstrate that here, but what you do is you get a bolt of the correct thread pitch and size and you run it into those holes and run it down so that uh, the drum pops loose. Now drum brakes work a little differently than disc brakes in that the shoes push out against the inside of the drum. So here's the drum on, and here's the drum off. Now when you step on the brakes, this is the drum. This is the surface right here that the shoes ride against on the inside of the drum. Now this whole thing spins with the hub. And as you're not applying your brakes, this just spins freely. Now as you apply the brakes, this right here is the wheel cylinder. And this pushes out against the top of the shoes, which hopefully you saw when I was pushing on it before, and then wedges the inside of the shoe against the inside of the drum. And then after you release the brake, there are these springs that pull the shoes back against the wheel cylinder so that this is allowed to spin freely again. So the springs return, the wheel cylinder applies. This is the parking brake cable right here. And this attaches to that thing on the floor or in your console and then comes around through here on this side and attaches to the bottom of that lever. And this is the adjuster. It's called a star wheel adjuster. And there are two ways that these work. And those two ways include a servo style, servo meaning twisting, and a non-servo style, which is non-twisting. And uh, the way this is done with a servo style is whenever you back the car up and apply the brakes, if there's any clearance to be taken up between this shoe and the inside of the drum, uh, the whole assembly actually twists and causes that adjuster to work. Uh, and then there's the non-servo style, and that actually works off the activation of the parking brake. So as you apply the parking brake, if there's any clearance to be taken up, it will be taken up uh, by the adjuster then. So try to get in the habit of uh, using your parking brake and that will ensure that your brakes are adjusted uh, as much as they should be. But if you haven't used it in a while, be careful. It may get stuck and that would get ugly. That is a general overview of how drum brakes work. Uh, the full length video will show these components all disassembled and how to uh, service these drum brakes. But for now, this is just uh, one of those little videos where you can get a look and see what's behind that thing that's there and you won't have to beat on the drum for 15 minutes to get it off like I did. Um, hope this video was helpful. You can always visit me at ericthecarguy.com. 
Uh, if you have any questions, post them as text or video responses here, and I may use them in a future show. So, stay dirty. Hey.